Hello, Information Services Librarian Megan here, and I'm back with another book review. I'm doing nonfiction today, and it is A Boys and Men by Richard Reeves. I thought this book was really interesting. I have a son, he's in high school. I often compare myself to him when I was his age, and I had it a lot more together than he did. <laughs> Definitely a lot more mature, a lot more thinking of the future, a lot of differences. Uh, Reeves talks about a lot of the problems facing, various problems facing boys and men in modern society. He includes education, psychology, economic issues. Had a lot of good points for me personally, since like I said, I have a son. A lot of the mainstream talk today is men are the dominant force in society. Women are the gender faced with obstacles to overcome. Reeves doesn't discount that. He admits women and girls still face challenges, but he does point out that girls today are more successful than boys in school. They're the majority of undergraduates. Talks about male employment rates falling. And what I didn't know is a lot of public policies help girls, but don't boys don't really benefit from these same policies. Um, Reeves mentions his own sons, and a big idea in the book is to hold all boys back in school and start them a year later than girls. I've seen people in my own town do this with their sons. When I was in, my kid was in kindergarten, I thought it was kind of silly, but now I kind of see the point. Of course, all the people in my town can afford an extra year of preschool. Um, Reeves suggests also more men become middle school teachers, elementary school teachers, and I remember my own son talking about his third grade teacher in elementary school and how Mr. Hammer just, he really got it. He understood, not like all the other female teachers. This book was really interesting. A lot of good points. Uh, I recommend it. Give it a try.